It's so funny when I sit here because no matter where I sit, it always looks like I've got horns coming out of my head. <laughs> Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing really well and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that are new here, I'm Becca, I'm a professional pet portrait and wildlife artist specialising in coloured pencils and realistic portraits of animals. So I like to do these sort of monthly, weekly vlogs just to kind of break up all my like art content really so you can kind of get to know me a little bit better as well. So in this vlog I take you to Barcelona, kind of vlog little bits throughout my trip there. I recorded little bits from when I went to puppy yoga which was honestly so cute little puppy dashings all running around. I'll also be taking you through some of the latest commissions I've been working on, my latest tutorials for Patreon and also any other projects I've been working on for competitions or exhibitions and just showing you like little bits in the studio and just basically what I've been getting up to. So I hope you enjoy! never does that. <laughs> so tomorrow my friend is actually paying for us to go to puppy yoga. I've been literally begging her to go for ages. Um, are you going to settle down or not? Oh, no she's not. Do you want to get down? <laughs> look how scruffy she looks because she was in the rain this morning. Look at that fur. to be on camera I think she just wants to look out the window um but yeah I'm going to puppy yoga tomorrow which I'm so excited for so basically you do like I think it's 40 minutes of yoga and then the rest of the time you can just sit and like play with the puppies and when we're going tomorrow it's little um little dashings little sausage dogs I actually can't wait I'm so excited so yeah we're going there in the morning it's in Liverpool um, and I think it's like an hour and a half. But yeah, I'm going to try and take some videos throughout. I don't think I'll actually get much yoga done. I've never done yoga before either. I'm purely just going for the puppies. I might wear a massive jacket so I can like sneakily take some home. But I don't think Bella would be too happy about that. But yeah, I'm very excited and I will try and get some videos to show you. current setup for today but I've had to literally move all my stuff downstairs um because it's too hot to work upstairs it's literally boiling I'm sat there melting so brought everything down just for a few days um and yeah I just want to get this Highland Cow recorded today and edited and uploaded to Patreon I'm going to Barcelona in a few days so I want to get that done um, before I go so i've managed to finish my highland cow and get it framed before i go away to barcelona i just wanted to get that done for patreon before i left just so it was done and you had the full tutorial before i went away i'm just going to put this on my wall i think I've just had a bit of a rearrange So today is Monday, tomorrow I'm actually going to Barcelona, which I'm so excited for, um, but it's like a really early flight, I think we fly at like five past six in the morning or something, so I'm going to have to get up at like three um, or earlier, so yeah, I'm going to finish off some work today, and then I've got loads of packing to do, I say loads of packing, but we're only going for like a few days, but I just like to take my entire wardrobe, because you never know what you're going to be doing. 
but yeah just do a bit of exploring really i've never been to barcelona before so um yeah i'm quite looking forward to it and it's supposed to be quite hot it's been so boiling here in the last few days um i think the weather over there is pretty much the same but it always feels hotter when you're abroad so yeah i'm just going to finish off this work and then start packing <music> obsessed with this mug look at it <laughs> so i came back from barcelona yesterday and it was so nice i think we could have done with a few more days to just to go shopping and stuff because we didn't do like everything that we wanted to do but it was really nice our hotel had a pool um we went down to the beach i think almost every day so you, you kind of get like the best of both worlds with barcelona you've got the beach that's not far away and then you've got all the the city and all the little restaurants, the food, the cafes. So yeah, if you've not been before, I'd probably recommend it. But yeah, it was just nice to get away for a few days, have a bit of relaxation time. So today I'm gonna unpack this morning. I've kind of already started, but there's just a massive heap of clothes. Like I said before I went, I like to pack my whole entire wardrobe, even if it's for one day or two weeks. So yeah, I need to properly unpack and then I think I'm just going to have a bit of an admin day today. Just catch up on emails and messages that have been coming through whilst I've been away. Catch up on some Patreon feedback as well. So yeah, that should take me the rest of the day really. So yeah, I'm going to crack on with that now. As you can see, it's literally cloud and rain, so a big difference to Barcelona. Literally the classic UK weather to come home to, and it's colder today as well. Um, but I've just been to the gym, I'm about to drive home. So today is the last day in June. I've got my final competition to enter for potentially this year, I'm not sure. It's the Sketch for Survival competition, where you basically draw like an endangered species that's on the red list and... Um, yeah, you can either get through to the long list, the short list, and then hopefully get an exhibition in London. Um, but yeah, I need to, I've already done the work, I just need to kind of crop it to size, get all the paperwork sorted for that and make sure I submit it in time. Um, the deadline is today, but it's at, at midnight, so I should have time. Um, yeah, I've got one commission left to finish as well, which I should get done this morning. And then yeah, just a lot of planning for the start of next month. So I've just finished this 12 by 12 inch commission of Maisie the Cockapoo. She kind of looks like Bella actually. The same kind of colour. I just thought I'd uh, show you before I photograph it and package it up.
I mentioned before about submitting um, a piece to the Sketch for Survival exhibition which is in London and I was planning on doing something new but I couldn't find like the perfect reference photo and I didn't want to rush something just to get it done in time for the deadline. I'd rather submit something off that I was already happy with than rushing something new. I had about maybe five days when I came back from Barcelona to, to do something but in that time I was also trying to finish commissions, catching up on emails, catching up on Patreon stuff. So once you've done all that, it doesn't really leave you much time to start a brand new drawing. So I'll show you what I actually did submit, my elephant. So this is an African savanna elephant and I completed this on extra white hot pressed Fabriano Artistico paper. I used pan pastels to get this like dusty, like misty effect. I also used the same on the stag. I think it worked quite well without taking any attention away from like the main subject. Um, just adds a little bit of something extra. Um, so yeah, I was really happy with this piece. This was actually a tutorial that I did back in January for Patreon, which was quite a challenging one because I'd never drawn an elephant before. The texture compared to fur is literally completely different. And whenever you're drawing something that's you know, a completely different texture, then you've often got to use like so many different techniques that you're not used to. So yeah, that was a challenge, but this was actually one of my patrons' most favorite tutorials. So I'm happy that I did it. I framed it the other day. I thought I might as well submit this one to the exhibition. It has to be an animal that's um, on the endangered species list, like on the red list. So yeah, I'll hear if I've been long listed for this one in the next couple of weeks. So I will keep you updated. But yeah, this is the one that I submitted. I thought I'd just show you. Morning everyone, it's Tuesday. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I have a lot planned to do this morning. I really want to update my um, website. I've got a section on my website that's tutorials and materials list. So if people want to join my Patreon or if you're thinking about it, but you want to see like the full range of tutorials, like in-depth tutorials that I've got um, start to finish real time, then you can literally see them all listed with the materials list as a PDF. So you can click on that and see all the materials that you need for that specific tutorial. So you can kind of get what you need before you start. It also tells you the duration of the tutorial, how many parts it's split into, and it gives you a link to part one of that tutorial as well. It already is on my website. I just need to add like the my latest sort of three or four tutorials that I've done. Um, just make sure everything's working. I also need to update both of my online shops on my website and on Etsy because again I've done about three or four or even five originals since I updated my website last so I need to add all of them on. I've already taken the pictures and edited them so it's literally just about putting them on, sorting out the descriptions, delivery details. So yeah just having a bit of a updating, organising morning in terms of my website and online shops. So they're all on my website now. Um, they just they were on there anyway. They just needed a bit of an update. I've just printed out my next commission for this month, the one that I'm going to start with, and I can't wait for this one. So this cat is called Gilly, and I'm going to be doing this 12 by 16 inch, which is about A3 size. I've also printed out a badger, which is going to be my next one in the British Wildlife series. Um, but I'm actually going to do this as a tutorial for YouTube, I think, because I've not done a tutorial on YouTube for quite a while. So yeah, keep a look out for this next tutorial. And if you struggle with white fur or black fur, then hopefully this will be helpful for you. I'm just on the floor organising my commissions. I've printed some out. I'm just um, kind of piecing them together. When I do like a large scale piece of work, I kind of print them over multiple A4 pieces of paper and then kind of stick them together and then transfer the image on that way. So it's just the right kind of proportions. But yeah, in terms of what's coming up in the upcoming weeks, um, basically I want to get this Badger tutorial filmed, edited and done for, I don't know why I printed out this piece of black bit at the bottom, don't really need that. But yeah, I want to get this Badger tutorial done for YouTube. Um, I've got five commissions to do, which some of them are quite large actually, like this one, um, which is, about 12 by 16 inch. I want to order some new prints as well of my newer work. Um, I've got all my Patreon content to do, all of the tutorials for that. 
at the minute it's kind of a toss up between a westy or a little lamb for this month we want to be drawing like white on white so like white fur on white paper because it's one of the things that people struggle with the most so i'm going to be kind of talking through how i approach that in terms of drawing white fur i just thought i'd show you actually so it's between this little lamb or uh, this little westy i always put a little um like vote or poll on patreon so people can vote for what they want to draw for that month and i'll usually give them like four to six options to choose from and then i'll go with the most popular so on top of that i've got two focus tutorials to do a materials video and a art business tips blog that's what i do like every single month for patreon um, i've also been approached by lancashire life magazine and they basically want to do an article about like me as like a local artist because obviously i live in lancashire so she sent me through some questions to answer so i need to kind of write them up make sure i've said everything that i want to say and also i need to get some more updated like art studio pictures because the ones that i've got of me working in the studio are from like over two years ago so i definitely need a bit of an updated picture i think and then i think i mentioned in my previous vlog that i've got a potential upcoming exhibition coming up in chelsea london so next week i actually need to drop my stag let me just move the camera so this massive stag up there i need to drop that off in chelsea um next week at the green and stone gallery as it's been pre-selected for the exhibition and then hopefully fingers crossed it'll be selected for the actual exhibition which will run throughout the whole of august um so yeah i need to sort all of these little bits out i think this afternoon i'm going to start drawing out my commissions and tutorials for this month just getting a bit more organized <laughs> So thank you so much for watching my artist vlog. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel to see more art related content like tutorials, technique videos, drawing process videos and vlogs just like this. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.